So hyponatremia and hyponatremia, just a quick, you know, I, as you know, a lot of early students struggle with it too. Like these are water disorders. They're not sodium disorders. There's a problem with water balance, not with sodium. We call it hyponatremia and hyponatremia, but it is a water balance issue, right? So hyponatremia is serum sodium less than 135, hyper is more than 145, but they represent disorders of water homeostasis. Why? Because this sodium is a concentration. Like that's why these brackets are placed. So it's total body sodium by total body water. So when the water goes up, the concentration goes low. If the water is low, the concentration of sodium goes high. So they are primarily water disorders, not sodium disorders right? And your plasma osmolality, again, this is the formula, but your plasma osmolality, which is normally, you know, 280 to 295, is primarily dependent on concentration of what? Sodium, right? Of course, a little bit from glucose and a little bit from urea, but primarily it is dependent on sodium. So if you drink a lot of water, let's say somebody told you that you got to cleanse your toxins in the body and you got to drink eight to 10 liters of water, what's going to happen? You're going to drink eight to 10 liters of water as soon as your plasma osmolality goes below 280 or your serum sodium comes anywhere close to 135. What should happen? There should be no ADH. ADH should stop secreting. And when there's no ADH, you should be peeing out dilute urine. What is the most dilute urine you can make? 50 milliosmoles. You can't pee out pure water. You still have to have some solutes. But the dilute, the most dilute urine you can make is 50 milliosmoles. You'll get rid of that extra water and you'll maintain a normal plasma osmolality. Right? This is what happens when you start drinking a lot of water. But if you drink, of course, if you drink a lot of water very suddenly or more than 12 liters of water in a day, you can't get rid of that water and you'll become you'll, you know, you'll end up in trouble. What about uh, if I took you to a desert and don't let you drink? What's going to happen? You're going to sweat away to glory. What's going to happen? You start with the serum sodium of, let's say, 138. Four hours later, it's going to be 144. That's eight hours later, it'll be 145. What happens when you reach a serum sodium of 145? You will be fighting with me for water. Thirst is such a huge... You would be, you know, we never feel that because we are, you know, like social drinkers, right? Like I'm just, I'm not even thirsty and I'm sipping on water. So we don't actually ever feel that most of the time, that urge, right? But as soon as you, uh, your plasma osmolality reaches 290 or your serum sodium reaches close to 145, what happens? Thirst will be activated. And what is your kidney going to do? ADH is going to be really, 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 you know, uh, be very high and you're going to pull out all the water and your urine is going to be that dark yellow, uh, which is a plasma osmolality of 1200, right? And that's how you maintain a normal plasma osmolality here, right? So ADH and thirst are the major protectors of your serum sodium concentration.